If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. by a freight train. Good. You're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Tranquilizers wore off fast. Where am I? You're locked in our medical bay. And when the guards find out you've regained consciousness, they'll put you under again. Don't want that. Any reason why you're helping me? Mina. Let's just say I'm not a fan of the indoctrination procedure here. All the more reason to leave, then. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... Can you distract the guard? Unlock the door. I could. A glitch in the security panel in the hall outside might do it. As long as you don't make too much noise when you leave, you might take him by surprise while he's checking it. Disabling the security system now. The door should be unlocked. on the wall. Do a bypass on it. Mike, careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby.
interesting. That's interesting. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. How did he wake up so fast? He just got here. Who cares? We'll just put him under again. Gave me the slip. Now we got you. Sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can.
it up. That's enough. I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you get kidnapped and questioned. I don't give up government secrets. I believe you. Everyone says that during the first hour of interrogation. So this is all part of the orientation? Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk. Face to face. That make you feel better? I'm ready. What tests? Not a physical, if that's what you're thinking. No, I figured that was all done while I was unconscious. And then some. We ran your blood work, checked your vitals. You seem healthy. Just one thing we should check. Your psych profile. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Your file's got a lot of gaps in it. A lot more than I usually see in field agents. Those gaps were hard to fill. I thought those records were buried. We're pretty good at digging. The ops needed to be done. Whatever they were. Looks like they were sad to see you go. And probably happy at the same time. But you wouldn't be a good field agent if your boots didn't get dirty. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pen here and meet the rest of the crew. All right. Is there anything I should know? Nothing you can't find out on your own, and from the staff here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Big ass screen. No weapons past this point. Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. Our war does not end here. This target is not the last. With our will and our resolve, Al Samad shall continue these attacks, fight the aggression of the West with its own weapons. Yes, for weapons have been delivered to us. Weapons that will make a graveyard in the skies of our enemies. We have the ability to strike far and to strike swiftly. There are no limits to our reach, no limits to the justice we bring in the name of freedom for our people. I 
am a man of my word. And this, I promise you, this attack is but the first that al Samad brings against its enemies. As fire rained down upon us, so shall al Samad bring easier fire to your people as well. The West and its allies shall bear the cost of what they brought to our people, to our country, and they will answer for it. You seek to take our land? Undermine our faith? All that you have seen this day is the answer to your brutal acts. The only language America understands. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. Good to see you've recovered from the medical room with your memory intact. Memory intact? Speaking of which, I don't remember where I left my keys. Or my passport. Confiscating personal items is quite routine. I wouldn't worry about that. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. All right. What's the next step? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. The standard field agent package includes a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and assault rifle. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the pistol. Equip the pistol, then aim down range and take some shots at the target. Good aim. Now, steady your aim for a few seconds. Then fire. Precision shots can take down a target quickly. Now, let's move on to the submachine gun. Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. Now take cover. Still using cover, take some shots at the target. Accuracy is terrible while firing blind, but it can get the job done, eventually. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. You can use cover to your advantage here. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Let's see how you do against some moving targets.
shotgun. Holding the trigger steady and firing can knock down even heavily armored targets. for your submachine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not subtle or quiet, but... And that's enough. For long-range encounters, the assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. Take the ladder, head up and back, all done. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. Darcy? Who the hell is that? Our tech instructor. Very insecure. Well, how's he doing? Not well. He's distracted. Why? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. So how'd I do on the course? Calling it up now. I'd still be feeling the effects of the drugs. It's definitely affecting your aim. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. Mm, I'll pass. Very well. I'll log your score. I'll have the results sent to your handler. And Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation, provided you've completed the other tests. You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? As much as I thought was necessary. Good. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. I gave it my best and so did they. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Mina's report says you might need more practice on the gun range, but you're probably still shaking off the drugs we gave you. I'm still brushing up on my skills. Mina's a good teacher. I just need to be a better student. She is a good teacher. She has a good eye for potential. I'll let her know your thoughts. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. I want to serve my country. And you think by being assigned here is the best way to do that? Give me a mission and I'll prove it. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. My opinion isn't important. Yours is. Not out in the field, and not when you're dealing directly with others. Then your opinion is all that counts. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, 
There's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. I'm not sure I understand. Is there something wrong with how I deal with people? No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. And if I want to impress them? You don't always want to or need to. Having a good or bad rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want? And if I compromise an asset in the field by choosing the wrong path? No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. If I need a breather to assess the situation, right? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. And if they're a target, why talk to them at all? Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how do I know how someone wants to be treated? At least, enough to cooperate. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Yes. Usually before I'm ordered to destroy the document. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses, like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. So when the guns come out, the dossier can come into play. Have you read mine? Several times. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up, to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. How do I know when I have the go-ahead to start accessing files? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else... You should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Let's start with a simple one. al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group. Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. Talking to people about others is a good way to help gain dossier information. Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. Okay, so I've suffered through your interrogation. and know how to give one, if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good, because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, 
You'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That's Sheikh Ali Shahid, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi-stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Specs and shadiness of this whole thing aside, how did Shahid get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. Understood. But if the opportunity presents itself, should I take him alive? If you can. Either way, we want him out of the picture and away from any more taped broadcasts. If I can bring him back here, I will. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. I made it to Saudi Arabia, sir. I'm at the safe house. I guess that much. See any shadowy agents in trench coats at the airport? No, sir. I don't think so. That was a joke, Mike. But stay on your toes anyway. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location. But we have three leads. An arms dealer, Najri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nazri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Is there any way to be sure the missiles are there? Not at this time. The area is dug into the side of a canyon, and getting reliable satellite imagery when sandstorms aren't blowing has been almost impossible. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. The weapons locker you already found? Help yourself to what's inside. Just be sure to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. All right, so is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home.